Hello everyone, I'm Francesca and welcome to Doorstep Science. In this video, we're going to be talking with you about current research examining pest control options for the green peach aphid. We will first cover the background to the green peach aphid and its role in virus transmission before looking a little more at insecticide resistance in the green peach aphid and discuss current research occurring within this space. The green peach aphid, or GPA for short, is a pest of a wide variety of broadacre, broadleaf pastures and horticultural crops. During heavy infestations, direct feeding damage from the green peach aphid can cause leaf distortion, wilting of the cotyledons, leaf senescence and seedling death. However, the biggest risk posed by GPA is virus transmission. GPA is a vector of over 100 different plant viruses, including turnip yellows virus, formerly known as Beet Western Yellows virus, which infects canola and other brassica crops. Early infection of plants can lead to yield losses of up to 40% and a reduction in oil quality. GPA is the primary vector of turnip yellows virus with a 96% transmission rate, and so control of this pest is an important priority for the grains industry. There are five insecticide groups that are currently registered against the green peach aphid for use in grains by the APVMA. Paraffinic spray oils are also registered for suppression of GPA. Research undertaken by CESA and the CSIRO demonstrated that GPA has developed widespread resistance to four out of the five of these chemical groups. The maps you can see here show the results of GPA resistance testing in 2018. The red dots represent resistant populations and the greens are susceptible populations. As you can see, most populations demonstrate resistance to pyrethroids, carbamates, organophosphates and neonicotinoids. Worryingly, in testing undertaken in 2019 following a control failure, several populations of GPA in the Esperance region of WA demonstrated reduced sensitivity to sulfoxiflor, the last of the five registered actives. So far, no other tested populations have demonstrated similar results to sulfoxiflor but it is important to grain growers we ensure this chemical remains viable into the future. So that's where we are now, but what's coming up? Well, a new four-year project will be further investigating these findings. For this project, we'll be undertaking research in developing grower tools to support improved management of GPA and reduce transmission of turnip yellows virus in the future. These activities will include generating baseline sensitivity data and testing resistance risks to new modes of action, a national insecticide resistance surveillance and testing program for GPA to be rolled out across the country in the 2020 and 2022 growing seasons, the development of seasonal and geographic dispersal modelling patterns for GPA and its corresponding impact on the turnip yellows virus seasonal distribution, and the update of the insecticide resistance management strategy for GPA. So, stay tuned and remember to keep in touch with any of your GPA resistance concerns. Doorstep Science. It's our way of delivering good science straight to your door.